Converting from degrees to radians, and vice versa, is a fairly straightforward process. What you're going to use is the fact that we know what this angle is in terms of degrees and in terms of radians. It's 180 degrees. which is pi radians. So depending on which side you solve for, 180 divided by pi degrees equals one radian. If you take this pi and divide it over here, or pi divided by 180 radians equals one degree. If you take this 180 and divide it over here. So say you have 75 degrees, and you want that in radians. Well, one degree is pi over 180 radians, so 75 degrees is 75 as many radians. This simplifies a little, like five goes into both 75 and 180. When the dust clears, you wind up with five pi over 12 radians. And it's very normal when you're working with radians to leave your answer like this, instead of, you know, plugging this into your calculator and getting a decimal approximation. Going the other way, let's just pick a Pick an angle out of the air. Let's say pi over seven radians. Well, one radian is this many degrees. So pi over seven radians. is going to be a pi over seven times that. Remember the degree symbol. Radians don't have a symbol, but degrees do. As a fraction, I don't believe this simplifies. For degrees, it would be probably most common to do this division and get a decimal approximation. And that's the process. You take the number of degrees or the number of radians and you multiply it by the appropriate quantity to do the conversion. 
Um, there are some radian values that you should probably just know without having to go through this process every time. Um, the really famous ones, zero radians is the same as zero degrees. Then pi over six radians is 30 degrees. Pi over four radians is 45 degrees. Pi over three radians is 60 degrees. And then we've mentioned this earlier, but pi over two radians is 90 degrees. These are really famous. Well, I mean, to the to the extent that anything involving radians can be called famous, these are really famous, and you should probably memorize them. Here's a picture from out of the textbook. It has the um, values I wrote down for you. Um, zero, pi over six, pi over four, pi over three, pi over two. And then it gives the equivalent values in the second, third, and fourth quadrant. I would not commit this picture to memory, but as I said, the values in the first quadrant, I probably would commit to memory.